Hi guys, this is Bella from Studio Dropshipping, and hopefully today I can help you to demystify the whole VAT and iOS S situation, which have been taking place since July 1st. I understand it has been a bit confusing to a lot of dropshippers, so today I'm going to explain these two concepts again and demonstrate how you can register for iOS S and set your iOS declaration on CJ. If you like this kind of useful tips and info, don't forget to subscribe our channel and turn on the notification bell, so you won't miss out. Number one, what is VAT? Let's use an example to make the concept easier to understand. If the VAT rate is 10%, a farmer sells one bag of apple to a baker for 70 pence, and the baker made a jar of apple jam and sold it to the customer for five pounds. During this process, the baker paid 77 pence to the farmer, in which seven is the VAT fee that got paid to the government by the farmer. When this apple jam got on the shelf, the customer need to pay 5.5 pounds for it, as 50 pence in which is the VAT fee. And the baker will pay 50 minus seven, 43 pence to the government. This is VAT, consumption tax placed on a product whenever value is added on each stage of the supply chain. Number two, what is iOS S? iOS S, the import one-stop shop. iOS is the electric portal that business can use since July 1st, 2021. Used to comply with e-commerce VAT obligations on distance sales of imported goods. So, what is the iOS S for? The iOS S allows suppliers selling imported goods to buyers in the EU to collect, declare, and pay the VAT to the tax authorities. Instead of making the buyers pay the VAT at the moment the goods are imported into the EU, as it was previously the case. So, when it comes to selling to the EU, there are two occasions. When the order value is above 150 euros, the recipient will be required to pay VAT and the customer duties. When the order value is less than or equal to 150 euros, there are three options for CG users to set the declaration. First, set the declaration without iOS S. In this case, the recipient will be required to pay VAT in order to complete the customer clearance. Otherwise, the parcel will be detained or distracted by the custom. Number two, set the declaration with your own iOS S. If you have your own iOS S ID, you can link it to your CJ account. The operation is very easy. Just log in your CJ account first and then find my profile, click in. And um, here at the end, you can see this declaration setting. So choose the declare with my own iOSS from the iOSS option list. We highly recommend you declare with your own iOSS, which is valid and linked to the destination country in the EU. So how to register for your own iOSS? A business can be registered on the iOSS portal of any EU member state. If your business is not based in the EU, normally you need to appoint an EU-established intermediary to fulfill their VAT obligations under IOSS. Number three, set the declaration with CJ's IOSS. If you are not from the EU country or simply don't have your own IOSS, you can declare with CJ's IOSS ID. So, declare with CJ's IOSS ID is also very easy, the same operation as just now. You log in first and then you click profile, get into the profile page and find declaration settings here. Choose declare with CJ's IOSS. Declaration with your store order amount is recommended. You will be responsible for the relevant risks if you choose to declare with CJ order amount. Here, click edit and choose the destiny. And that's it. However, CJ's iOS SID will not be applicable for orders valued above 150 euros. Okay, that's pretty much all for today's content. If you still have unsolved questions about VAT or iOS S, please leave them in the comment below. Or if there is anything you'd like to know or to watch, 
always feel free let us know your need. Here's CG Dropshipping Training. If you'd like to grow your online business with us, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumb up. Thank you for watching and see you next time.